Who's got control on the ICP chart? It is clear that the ICP bulls have got control. So we've broken through that resistance like a hot knife through, but we're waiting for it to pull back to act as support so we can apply the appropriate risk management and we can preserve our capital in the best possible way on this trade. So here's how I'm playing it. So on this video, we're going to talk about risk management. We're going to talk about buy orders. We're going to talk about sell orders. We're going to talk about exhaustion when the market's overheated and more importantly, having patience in the market. So you can see on ICP, and I was covering this quite a lot on my channel, that we were in accumulation phase after this big push to the upside for 89 days. That was boring during these 89 days. And what was happening to this bull during those 89 days is he was getting exhausted. He was coiling up for a big move and he was getting tired. He managed, and as far as the buy and sell orders are concerned, guys, if there's more buy orders, if there's more of a monetary amount on the buy side, that's when you get the breakthrough. So he finally got a break and he's getting a little bit tired now. He didn't manage to push up to the next resistance level and he needs to break and have a rest. So he needs to pull back and he needs to pull back into this support zone. And what's happening from a psychology perspective is the stochastic is pulling back, the RSI is pulling back, and it's coiling up for another big move. So if we just get the RSI for simplicity, we'll take this off, take the RSI off, and you keep the stochastic. This is simplicity. So we managed to get a big move to the upside. What happens when the stochastic is at this level? What happens when the stochastic's at this level? Over 80 is overbought, under 20 is oversold. So watch what happens. As we've entered an overbought, after we've got this big move to the upside, we need to pull back and the RSI is telling us that we need to pull back. So we did have that pullback and we created this bull flag here. We can add our bull flag on there. We know that we need a break. We know that this is support, this area, because we stuck our Fibonacci on here last time. And this was in the golden zone for us. This was between the 0.5 and the 0.618. So we expect confluence there. That's not just the previous resistance to act as support. This is also our golden zone. So we expect this to act as support going forward. So our bull's resting. As he's pulling back, the bears are taking a little bit of control. The bears are pulling him back into support. And once the bears are pulled him back into support and he coils his head through here for the break, that means you're getting good risk management. That means you're getting 5.76 as opposed to if you took a trade up here, 0.69, that means this would have been your capital. That means that's how much that you'd be risking. That's how much you could lose. So we want to be buying support. And then that allows for tight stop losses. If we're wrong, we lose a little bit of our capital. We rinse and repeat going forward. So it was just a quick lesson, guys. The bulls and the bears, the buy orders and sell orders, exhaustion and patience. If you did enjoy this video, check out my altcoin playlist and I'll see you in the next one.